The city of Greenville has been named a Tree City USA by the Arbor Day Foundation for the 39th year in a row. I'm Lauren Thomas, where it's especially green in the city of Greenville this week. Recreation staff are preparing for the city's third tree giveaway on Saturday at Timmins Park. We have 200 bare root saplings and we're committed to growing and preserving our tree canopy. The Gatlin Park cleanup brought out 24 volunteers and six city staff to paint, remove invasive plants, and clear debris at the park. Earthwork is nearing completion on the north side of the Reedy at Unity Park. They'll transition to the south side next week. Landscaping, tree, and shrub planting will begin in early next month. Artist Fair is looking for volunteers. The annual festival is scheduled for May 7th through the 9th, and volunteer positions include entrance greeters, ticket scanners, and festival runners. To sign up for a shift, visit greenvillesc.gov volunteer. Recreation staff assembled and decorated flower pots filled with potting soil and marigold seeds. The pots were delivered to 30 community seniors as part of their monthly senior well checks. Staff also assembled and distributed spring fling tote bags with hand sanitizer, crossword puzzles, pens, magnets, sewing kits, and popcorn. Traffic engineers installed new signage on the parallel parkway. The road constructed by the city of Greenville allows drivers to bypass congested Woodruff Road to shopping destinations more easily. The city of Greenville litter crew collected 2.2 tons or 4,500 pounds of litter throughout the city of Greenville this week. Find an interactive map of where crews are working at greenvillesc.gov slash litter crew. City leaders met with residents in the Haney Serene neighborhood to listen to their traffic concerns surrounding future development in South Downtown. Greenlink celebrated Transit Driver Appreciation Day on Thursday. Drivers received thank you cards, breakfast, lunches, snacks, and features on Greenlink's Twitter page. The city is putting the finishing touches on a new parking lot in the West End. The 48-space lot near Floor Field is at 911 South Main Street. Her name is Providence, the Greenville Zoo Foundation's fundraising auction to name our new baby giraffe generated nearly $15,000. And zoo attendance has increased dramatically over the past few weeks. It could be the spring-like weather or my bet is on Providence. I'm Lauren Thomas for the City of Greenville.